Honestly, uh, I don't know how any student athlete does it. When you listen to the type of day that they have and the types of kind of commitments that they already have, besides schoolwork, their uh, athletic event, I don't know how there's any more time for socializing or anything else. When you go in your room, you can't play video games and, or watching TV, watching SpongeBob or something. You gotta be doing your stuff. So I mean, I think that's most important. And then uh, somebody told me one time that out of, you know, whether your social life, academics, and football, you usually can only be good at two out of the three. You know, so um, football and academics is most important. So those are the two out of the three I try to be the best at. And so it's an extra effort that they have to put forward to um, uh, keep up with their studies. Any free time, it could be before practice, it's always a way to get your work done, just you gotta fit it into the time that you do have. Going to school is a full-time job, and playing football is a full-time job because of all the, the demands, both physically and, and mentally. I've always had great respect for athletes who do what they do, and, and what I find, athletes so often do well because they have learned how to budget their time, they've learned how to be focused. Those traits that make them good players also make them good students. Definitely, I think I think studies takes more time. Uh, don't, football does take a lot of it, but I mean, if you're not doing well in the classroom, then it doesn't matter what you do on the field, you're not gonna be playing. So uh, my parents definitely, before I even came here, definitely stressed me that yeah, school comes first. Well, it's definitely been challenging trying to balance like both of them, but it's just showed me that you can push through on the field and off the field at the same time because the work that comes with that major is very challenging. So it just shows me that I, I am capable of doing it and I'm strong enough to do it. I mean, they go hand in hand as far as work ethic goes and time management, stuff like that, in order to succeed in one um, or either of them, you gotta be able to manage your time well and you can't cut corners in either of them. So just work hard and, and, uh, and learn your stuff, you know, for football, whether it's learning the defense, for um, academics, it's learning, you know, studying for the test, it's, it's about the same. I spend my time, when I'm here, I'm here. When I'm in football, I'm in football mode. But once I go home, you know, you gotta flip that switch, make sure you get all your work done. And uh, they do a good job with tutors and mentors and people like that to make sure that you stay on track too. They get lots of support. They've earned that support. It wasn't very hard to convince them that the same things that have made them successful athletically, if they apply it to their life and certainly to their schoolwork, that those same principles will make them successful there. And I think we have such a supportive uh, uh, athletic department. Well, the way the structure is set up here, they do a good job of making sure you have the resources that you need. Uh, you have mentors and counselors and academic advisors that make sure you're doing what you need to do in the classroom. Then they set you up with tutors to make sure that you're equipped with what you need to know going into class, and that's a really nice tool that we have here. Our academic staff does a really great job um, of that for us. You know, really everything is mapped out for us, tutoring uh, for us, mentors, things like that. Our schedule is really. Uh, routine. I think our student athletes are some of the strongest willed people at the university and I love having them in my class. But it's an extra uh, burden on the students academically, the, the student athletes. It's always very rewarding to see them do well. Mm -hmm.